Welcome back to the Daily Bread Bible Study. We are looking at day 69 for Joshua chapters 18 through 20. In Joshua 18, we discuss some more about the allotment of land and the promised land. And just a reminder, too, that there are 12 ancestral tribes. Those are, again, different than the 12 sons of Jacob. Um, this is not including the Levites, the tribe of Levi, because they are given land by their kinsmen, and their portion are the offerings of the tribes given in the tent of meeting. So we've seen the disbursement of Reuben, Gad, and a portion of Manasseh in the region east of the Jordan. Judah, Ephraim, and Manasseh have each had their land allotted. So because Reuben, Gad, Judah, Ephraim, and Manasseh have all been allotted, that means seven of the ancestral tribes still need their land allotted to them. So they gather at Shiloh um, and are called by Joshua. Joshua sends 21 surveyors, three from each of the remaining tribes, to figure out how to divide the land fairly. In Joshua 18, verse 9, So the men went and traversed the land and set down in a book a description of it by towns in seven divisions, then came back to Joshua and the camp at Shiloh, and Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord, and there Joshua appoint, apportioned the land to the Israelites to each a portion. The territory of Benjamin includes Jericho, Bethel, and Jebus, or what will be called Jerusalem. Um, and we mentioned Jerusalem last time in the allotment of Judah. It is mentioned again today. Uh, does that mean that Jerusalem was kind of split between two tribes, right? The tribe of Tru Judah and the tribe of Benjamin? Um, it's kind of interesting because it winds up in the territory of Benjamin. Well, uh, how I make sense of it is that the idea that the tribe of Benjamin is the one who is given the land, including uh, Jerusalem. But they were unable to drive out the Jebusites. Thus, when the tribe of Benjamin, Benjamin is decimated during the Battle of, Gib Gil uh, Battle of Gibeah, which is from Judges chapter 20, um, and uh, we'll get into that story in day 78 and 79. It's a long and kind of twisted story. Uh, but basically, it is a story that also explains how Judah becomes connected with Jerusalem. Uh, moving into Joshua chapter 19, we hear the territory of Simeon in Joshua 19 verse 9. The inheritance of the tribe of Simeon formed part of the territory of Judah because the portion of the tribe of Judah was too large for them. The tribe of Simeon obtained an inheritance with their inheritance. We then hear the territory of Zebulun, the territory of Iskar, the territory of Asher and Naphtali, and finally the territory of Dan. Uh, also, who's included in the inheritance is Joshua. In Joshua 19.49, um, it says, As inheritances, the Israelites gave an inheritance among them to Joshua, son of Nun. By command of the Lord, they gave him the town that he asked for, Timnath Sarah, in the hill country of Ephraim, he rebuilt the town and settled in it. In Joshua chapter 20, uh, the cities of refuge, which will be overseen by the Levites, as we discussed in Numbers 35 on day 51, they are uh, mentioned here. Um, they are places, again, for only unintentional deaths of people and not for you know convicts, uh, people who intentionally murder, to flee to. Uh, but in Joshua 20, verse 9, it clarifies, These were the cities designated for all the Israelites and for all the aliens uh, residing among them, that anyone who killed a person without intent could flee there, so as not to die by the hand of the avenger of blood until there was a trial before the congregation. So that's discussing the land and the allotment. Uh, we will discuss more about the book of Joshua next time.